I don't think I can make a video right here right now. There's too much stuff in the way. Hi viewers, you can probably tell my... <laughs> Hi viewers, you can probably tell by my appearance that I was not planning on doing a video because I look like a mess. This is me looking like a mess. Anyway, I just wanted to address two things really quickly because I feel that they need said. I did a video a while ago that I titled something to the effect of I'm not that old yet and now I'm gonna contradict that because in certain ways I am that old. Right now I'm working with an elementary theater workshop so I'm working with a cast of kids from age 8 to 13 although I think our oldest is 11 actually. And I was playing games with them and two of them really wanted to just sing songs and so they were having suggestions for songs so I decided to challenge them with a game that we like to play sometimes where you get in a group, there are multiple groups, and there's a word given like love, and everyone has to come up with a song that has the word love in it, but the catch is at least two people in your individual group both have to know it, so it can't be some really obscure song. And so you go around from group to group until you run out of if people don't know a song, then they're out, and then you get to the last group. That's a really poor explanation, but it's four in the morning, so I don't care. So I challenged them, because we are doing The Secret Garden, to think of songs that have the word secret or garden in them, and they couldn't think of any, and I was like, how can you not think of any? I can think of two right off the top of my head, Dirty Little Secret and No Secrets. And I had to remind them what Dirty Little Secret was, but they knew that, but they didn't know what No Secrets was. And I couldn't understand that. I was like, why am I so old that you guys don't know who No Secrets is? So let me just share this with you. This album album came out in 2002, so that would be when these kids were like one or two years old. I was 12. I am a little bit old. In some ways, in some ways, because I by no means consider myself old. But at that moment, I was just like, I am a decade older than you, okay. Second thing, real quick, someone has been asking me to do a boyfriend tag video because I know I have been mentioning my boyfriend a lot. I honestly really try not to mention relationships very much on here, except for vaguely mentioning on occasion whether or not I am in one. And I know I told you when I went through a really bad breakup recently. But I try not to mention it because I don't want to put it out there that much, because my last couple relationships have been really super awesome and then ended suddenly, and so I, I don't want to go through that again. So I just wanted to say that I really appreciate that you guys want to know who he is, and I would love to share him with you, but honestly, if I share him with you, you will fall in love with him, and I can't have that. No, but really, it's just... I had my ex-boyfriend in some videos and in pictures and we did live chats together with some of you and then it ended really suddenly and really terribly and it took me a very long time to get over it and while I do think that this relationship is much stronger and better and will last a lot longer, I don't feel comfortable putting myself through that again, possibly. I just don't feel comfortable putting that much of us on the internet because my boyfriend does not have an internet presence at all. He doesn't have any kind of online social networking things or anything, so I'm not comfortable putting him on the internet. I'm not sure he would be comfortable being on the internet, and it's just not really something that I want to do right now. So maybe in the future, far future, if we are still together, I would love to introduce you to him. You might see him on the sidelines or in the background of some videos. I still have some past videos to post when he and I went on tour with a show that that we were doing that I helped write. So you might catch glimpses of him. I posted a quick little picture of him. I know it wasn't very good, but that's kind of on purpose. But no, I don't, I don't want to have him in a video with me. I think that is something that I can't handle right now. We have been together over a year, and I do love him very much, and he knows that. I don't know if he'll watch this. He doesn't really watch these. And I love that you guys want to know him. I do. I just don't want to do that, and I hope you understand that, and I just wanted to address it in case any of the rest of you have been wondering, because I have been mentioning him a lot. And that was only because I thought it was necessary to tell you that that's where I was because, you know, the church that I'm going to now is near his house, so I would never have found it if not for him. And he's an atheist, so he won't go to church with me, of course, but whatever. A pagan and an atheist going to church together. And if it's a case of, like, you guys don't believe I have a boyfriend because you haven't seen him, I don't care. <laughs> that doesn't bother me nearly as much as being really uncomfortable um, if something should happen. So I just wanted to address that quickly and also I really just wanted to talk at the camera because I haven't in a couple days. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching and just in case anyone's wondering as another random thing, I am currently finishing Lilith's Brood, which is really difficult to say. Lilith's Brood. Lilith's Brood. 
It's three books. I read one during my genetics class a couple years ago, 